Glenn Kendall with Concourse Hosting here and I'm going to show you this cool and amazing tile grid map uh, showing donations across mm -hmm. the United States. To get this Tableau workbook uh, I'm on my Tableau public profile page and I'm going to click download workbook. Wabam and open. And here it is. Uh, this is a dashboard view of it, and then here's the actual workbook. I love this visualization. This is so cool. Uh, this is awesome because it shows states as all being the same size. And, uh, you know, it's like Rhode Island's almost like it's a real state, and, and Delaware too. So by showing all the states as the same size, you can just kind of see them all there. They're easy to compare to one another. Plus, uh, you know, poor Alaska and Hawaii also show up. Those are usually are not shown because they're too far out of the field of view or whatever. So, and then the cool thing is that you can just organize the boxes. So this almost kind of looks like the United States. So I love this view. Uh, how this works is basically I'm blending two different data sources together. So in Tableau, you do blending by just combining two data sources. Um, so I have one data source. I'll click on here. This is uh, where my GIF data lives. And then I have another one that's just basically an Excel spreadsheet that shows, you know, the layout of all the states and, and how you do all of this. Uh, so to get at that data and get your own Excel spreadsheet to do that, uh, since you already have the workbook here, you can just click on this and then say export data to CSV. And wablamo, there it goes. And so it's just in a CSV now. Um, yeah, there it all is. It puts this number of records column in there for some reason. We don't need that, so you can just delete it. But this is the layout of everything. So I've got the state abbreviation, um, the row and the space, and then the state. Um, so like Alaska, we can see here is in row one, space one. So one one is there. And then main is one and then 12. So there's main, there's Hawaii. Hawaii is eight one. And then Florida, on the other side, 810. So basically, this is just a grid that's 8 high and 12 across. So all we're doing in this Excel spreadsheet is defining where on the grid each state shows up. Um, you'll need to make sure that in your actual data, in your GIF data, that you either have the state or the state abbreviation in there and it's all spelled correctly because that's what it's going to be linking on. In this case, I'm linking on the state. Um, I say linking rather than joining because when you're doing a data blend in Tableau, it's got this little link field and it even calls it link. So it's using state as the linking field. And the way you do that is you go up here and you say edit relationships. And then you tell it, okay, my primary data source is this one, and my secondary is this one. It really doesn't matter which is primary and which is secondary. But state, uh, I can edit what the fields are, uh, but state is the one that I'm using. So that's how you make the states. Um, then within you know, the GIF data, the GIF data itself is is pretty basic. Uh, just got my GIF date, GIF type, GIF's ID, um, a GIF amount, actual GIF amount. So on the GIF date FY, all I'm doing there is I'm just using the GIF date itself, uh, which seems kind of silly. But then the reason I do that is you come over here and you can say, oh, I want my fiscal year for this particular pill to start at a certain date, say July. So that way you can have gift date, which is the calendar year gift date, and then gift date FY, which is the fiscal year. 
I have gift amount and actual gift amount. Um, you don't have to do this. Um, just depends on how your data is set up. I'm doing actual gift amount as an if null of the gift amount. Um, just in case you don't have any values for a particular state, uh, that state will still show up. So like here, Idaho and Montana, if I didn't do that, then these two states would just not exist, which would be terrible because I'm from Idaho and you don't want Idaho to go away and certainly not Montana. So you want those states to show up so it doesn't look like there's a big gap in your map. Um, otherwise, you just have to be conscious of where you are when you're using these two data sources and know that when you're making calculated fields that kind of are associated with the data source. So when I'm on actual gift amounts, you know, gift date FY, they're here. And if I click up to this data source, they're not there. And uh, once you drag the pills over to use them in the visualization, all I have is just space and row for my columns. Again, just defining the grid. Uh, for my marks, I'm using a square. Uh, you could also use a circle as well if you want to do that. Um, I, in some ways, I kind of like the circle, you know, but I don't know. There's just something about the squares is more state-like. So I prefer to do the square, but whatever. Um, I did a border here. Uh, so you can do a white border or a black border. I actually did some formatting on here as well so that the lines show up as white. So that's actually not this border. It's within the format of the visualization uh, going over here and then within the cell. I click on a big thick border and then make it white. So that kind of gives that nice gap between the the states there. Um, otherwise, I just, on the label, I just have the state abbreviation name and then the actual gift amount. For the actual gift amount, I define the default property as being currency with no decimal places, then I'm displaying in the thousands. Um, if I don't do that, then my amounts get bigger and uh, might come off the screen a bit. So in order to keep everything in its nice, nice, neat, tidy little box, I do it in terms of, of thousands of dollars at a time. Um, yeah, that's really it. That's the magic to make this work. Um, have a tile layout Excel spreadsheet and then do data blending to blend it to your particular data. In this case, I'm doing it on the state field. And cool, you got a nice tile grid map. Uh, if you want to learn more about doing other visualizations and upcoming webinars and stuff that we have, uh, basically once a month we have a webinar um, where we introduce a new workbook covering something that nonprofits could use. Uh, typically it focuses on razor's edge data, blackbot CRM data, but really it can apply to, to any nonprofit. So if you want to find out more about learning about new workbooks and webinars and just get on our mailing list uh, for Tableau tips and whatnot, text concourse to 345345 and they'll get you on the list and uh, get all the goodies. Cool. Thanks for joining me today and hope to see you soon.